ladies and gentlemen, and welcome here to the Sportsman Series from Homestead on the pole. And a surprise on the pole, Sam Curtis. Or, yeah, I know, Sam Ash, my bad. Ash Curtis set a blistering lap to put himself on the pole. Got a late draw, put him on the pole. Beside him, point leader Luis Hernandez. And it's Al Matthews, DJ Curtis, Cody Lamas, Joey Murphy, Dylan Schwellenberg, and his home track. And the track he got his first ever win at. And then Will Goss and it's Al Agassi, Tony Newman, David Diaz, Eric Rodriguez. Green flag in the air. And wow, the 88 just shoved the 15 all the way to the first corner. Alan Matthews looking to go by current second place in points is David Diaz. So Alan Matthews, oh, the 48 was dead sideways through three and four. New leader, and the guy that's going to lead the first lap is Alan Matthews. Oh, Jessica Kinghart was all the way down in the yellow. Five wide almost right here with two of the three points contenders. The 24, oh, the 34 almost wrecked, saved it. And yikes, David Diaz had to really get out of the throttle. You can see the back end of these cars kicking out more than the Under Armour Pro cars did. A big chunk of debris just flew up. I don't know where it came from. A huge chunk of debris just flew up down the back straightaway. Back to the lead is Ash Curtis. Ash Curtis was one of the best drivers in the early part of Sportsman, back when we had the old, old cars. The man was on the charge. He won like six races. Put his name in. Oh, we got a caution on the speedway. He put his name in the history books, and the back straightaway is completely covered in smoke. Looks like Michael Haas was involved. See what happened to Michael? I'm going to feel like somebody gets in the back of him. Is it Patrick Smith? Uh, he's trying to stay off his teammate. Yep, Patrick Smith just sent him. Sit him to the infield. Not a very nice move there by Patrick Smith. And man, James Kinghart falling like a rock. And he's got some damage. Yeah, he's got a lot of damage to the door of the number 38 for Fusion. I think he bounced it off the wall. The previous step, I think it was the chunk of debris. Yeah, watch. There's the chunk of debris we see flying. So tough break for James Kinghart. He's way back in the field right now. We'll get you back to the front of the field. Ash Curtis, the legend, leads here at Homestead. We'll get you back to green flag cup. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Ash Curtis leads. Currently, him and the guy who's right behind him are tied with wins. Four apiece on the board. I think Alan Matthews, I think he actually sits. He is ninth all time. Alan Matthews is eighth all time on the win board. So right here, one of these guys could actually move up a couple spots on the all time wins list with a win here today. Green flag back in the air. Ash Curtis leads here at Homestead. And that's a good run for this Curtis Racing team. A team a lot of people thought would struggle this season. Ash had a big problem in Auto Club when he blew a valve early, the valve went out in the engine, and he was running about seven cylinders at Auto Club and was super slow. And he vowed to that team, if we ever put anything on the track like that ever again, he's retiring. And now look at him up front, battling for a race win. Just like he's never left the Sportsman Series, just like this car. He's had this car forever, and I think he's hungry for it. Contact between Goss and Hernandez. And I think if there's going to be a little bit more, Luis drove it in really deep to run Will up a racetrack. Not happy with the former, the past champion. Joey Murphy will lead that lap, but we got a battle here. Oh, contact made. 
Joseph Curtis, DJ Curtis beating and banging on each other down the back straight away. Four wide for the race lead. Dylan Schwanberg knows how he's got to win this race to basically gain a bunch of points on the 24. Oh, somebody was wrecking sideways. I think it was Murphy. Oh, the two really out of shape with Joseph Curtis. That's not Joseph Curtis. My bad. That's Justin Jones in the 47. Joseph Curtis is a little bit further back in the 30. My bad, ladies and gentlemen. And uh-oh. The guy the field did not want to see take the race lead is about to take the race lead. That is Louise Hernandez. I think if he were to... Oh, man, the 43 is smoking the rear tires on the clickyclose.com. Chevrolet, and he was the guy who won this race last season here at Homestead. Now, I guess he also smoking the rear tires on that machine. Let's go find actually Joseph Curtis. Now, he's in the wall right here, running 16th. Well, it was 16th, now 21st. Get you back near the front of the field. Schwallenberg battles with Hernandez. Alan Matthews right there, too. Justin Jones starting to march. Scott Roush. Look at this in the Roush entry. The 97. Him and Zachary Fitzwater starting to move near the front of the field. Looks like they had those cars set up for the longer run. So is Eric Rodriguez starting to make a, make a charge toward the front. Looks like Zach King. Oh, car. Around, it's Patrick Smith inside. Hit, I think he hit the inside wall. Oh, he's not lifting, boys. He's not lifting. Oh, big contact. Oh, no. The 43. The defending winner of this race, Jonathan Zorlian involved. Connor Monaco. Or not Connor Monaco, excuse me. It's Ryan Monaco, Eric Monaco, Diego Yepes, Robbie Jackson involved. I think all of Monaco Walter Racing was involved in this. Wow. Patrick Smith. I don't know if that was deliberately blatant or not, but whole wow. The six car had already wrecked the 20 early in the run. We're going to see what happened. I think Cody Monaco, yeah, watch. Cody gives him a little, gets him, I mean, just, oh, just barely got into the back when he got arrow loose. And he never lifted th down here on the flat. And just completely knew where he was hitting. He got the 96 back. Takes out the 83. Robbie Jackson's involved. That also takes out Jonathan Zorley, the defending race winner of the event. And then as all the cars are starting to slow, they're trying to slow down to avoid it, this is where other cars get in. Isaiah Monaco, Jessica Kinghart. Wow. Patrick Smith. And we have a red flag. There's a ton of oil and grease and debris all down the back, uh, down end of turn three and four so ERL officials have stopped the cars here on the back straightaway nothing can be done with them ladies and gentlemen we'll get you right back to green flag ladies and gentlemen we are back the cars are getting ready to start rolling again but they have a huge brawl down here in the pit road area all of Monday every team of Monaco Walter Racing is around the six teams, Camp, Dodge officials, Toyota officials are down here trying to separate them. ERL officials are down here. This is a wild brawl that has happened down here in the uh, pit area. As now they're going to start rolling the cars. There's a huge brawl has taken place. Zorli and as soon as the red flag was lifted, they cut the click and close off the back of that 43. The one probably got the whole nose just yanked off real quick. But a huge brawl has happened. 
And we're going to get you back now to the green flag. We are back. Pace car pulling in. Now Matthews was leading us down to the green flag. Green flag back in the air. We're racing once again here at Homestead, Miami. Justin Jones trying to push Dylan Schwallenberg maybe to get by the, tw the 88. The two most winners is right here together. Dylan has won, and then Louise has won. So both of these guys have won the most races this season. Look like a block maybe by the 21 to the 24. 24 going to drive it in. Ooh, Eric Rodriguez really loose on that inside lane. But ERL officials have stated they were look into the sixes incident. Oh, the 88 was almost wrecking to try not to hit his teammate. Look at Scott Roush. This is a big break for that 97 team. Really have not had the speed all season. Oh, the 17 was wrecking again. These guys are getting wrecking loose off the corners as the lights are starting to cut on here at Homestead and Miami Speedway. Hernandez will lead Schwallenberg, Matthews, and Roush. Oh, car around. This might end the race, and I think it was Fitzwater we already said was... Looking to be wrecking loose. Will Goss also involved. Dylan Schwallenberg to the inside. If this is the race, Dylan Schwallenberg looks maybe like he is going to win once again at Homestead Miami Speedway. If that is the race, I believe it could be. Will Goss is blowing up. Let's see what happened to Fitzwater. I believe it just snapped loose on him in the entry of the corner. We've seen these cars getting super sideways and they're starting and they were catching them and catching them and catching them and I think at this point yeah you could see he's oh yeah they were no there was no catching that one at all I mean look you can see how sideways look at the 91 here and the 34 they look like they're damn near drifting here at Homestead and the 17 was really loose the previous lap before and I don't, I, there was no way that car was going to not make this corner. I think it was turn three. Let's go back and see if we can see in turn three. Watch. Watch the 17. You see how sideways he gets. He had to correct it there under Goss. Gets by Goss a little bit. Not fully clear. And the thing just done it again. You can see the tires starting to lock, lock, lock. It, and it just went right up and around. Almost taking out David Diaz. Maybe that's a better angle to look at is the front end of David Diaz. Let's go back to turn three and let's see how bad the 17 was almost wrecking then. Oh, yeah, you can see it wiggle all the way down the track. And then in the turn one and two. Oh, yeah, the thing just never... He can never get it slowed down, and I mean, Goss cannot get out of the throttle either. He was going to get killed by the nine. So once again, it just looks like wrong place, wrong time for Will Goss. Oh, the defending champion of the series is having a, what looks like to be a championship slump this season. I don't know if this race is going to get back to green. Louise is saying the track's clean. Let's go. Sort of like Dylan was saying at Richmond. Will we get back green? We'll find out in just a moment. ERL officials have drove around. They said the track is clean. We're going to have a green, white checkered, pretty much. Scott Roush saying, guys, this is our opportunity to maybe get up here and win this. Can Scott Roush do something crazy? David Diaz, who's second in points, is going to come home with a ninth place finish. But if Luis Hernandez wins, the next three weeks might be hard. He might could clinch at Talladega if he were to win this race today. And not have any problems at Daytona. Pace car pulling in. This is Shades of Richmond. Where Schwallenberg begged the officials, hey, the track is clean. Let's race. Great flag. 24 spun the tires. Alan Matthews going to look to the inside, maybe, of the 24. The 88 has had some of the best restarts. Ooh, contact between Justin Jones and Eric Rodriguez. down into turn three. Dylan Schwellenberg by himself. 
now is gonna have to have a hard charge and 88 behind him. Here comes the 12 of his teammate, Eric Rodriguez. White flag in the air, and I think Allen is gonna have to wait and try to get him in three. Rodriguez was wrecking. What a save by the Eric Rodriguez. By the Eric Rodriguez, wow. Side by side, down the back straight away. 88 versus the 21. Alan Matthews is going to run Schwallenberg three lanes high, coming to the stripe. Alan Matthews is going to win in, at Homestead. And we're wrecking into one. Somebody wrecked across the finish line. Wow, William Brock is torn up. And I think it was just somebody definitely not giving on out of turn three. And I don't blame him. Oh, Brock was blowing a tower probably and it just looks like James Kinghart was like man I gotta get some positions here and just never lifted him in the 18 and oh some hard hits to the inside wall there but Eric Rodriguez will come home fifth and we gotta go and look at this what a save he had in the turn one on the final restart man it was probably right here. Watch this car. It looked just like Zachary Fitzwater the lap before. He didn't want to hit the 47 and just watch the rear end. Just step, 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 save. Wow. You talk about exciting. Man. You know, he wanted it to be as a team owner. He would love to have seen his car win the race. But I think he's just glad he didn't wreck this one. Wow. That's right. This is definitely making it on the save of the year highlights right here. Look at that. That car is at least half sideways. David Diaz has a nose cam on it. Let's see what he sees. Going into one. Watch that 12. Slide, slide. I think the 97 does give him a little bump. And that just, look at that car. Wah, bop, bop, bop. You can just, you know that them rear tires are just squalling here. Saves it, keeps it going. I think David shoves him down the back. Uh, maybe not. Or maybe he'll get him into three here. Scott Roush will come home in fourth spot. But man, oh, and a great run by Gatlin Downey in the in the 52 car. Right there. Bobby Striggle also with a good run. 16th spot for that team. But a lot of torn up cars. But the race winner is Alan Matthews, Schwalenberg, Jones, Roush, Rodriguez, Hernandez, Diaz, King, Curtis, Downey, Newman, Murphy, Warren, Legacy, Ash Curtis, Bobby Striggle. That's your top 16, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the rest of your finishing order. We will see you guys next week as we continue in Florida for a Florida swing. We'll see you guys next week from Daytona until we meet again.